Whew, whoa. I just hiked up 2,700 foot Mount Baldy area. That there is the top of Mount Baldy, about right at the tip of my finger. I'm about 60% of the way up. Well, I'll tell you, you're going to know real fast if you're out of shape. Taking me about six and a half hours to get up here. There's a little road, uh, access road that, uh, I guess workers come to, uh, I don't know, change bulbs and monitor the radio station. <clears throat> uh, there's two trails at the trailhead. One for beginners. I just had to take the, uh, Sir Edmund Hillary, uh, one. Duh. But you get up quicker. Look, that down there, center, that's Fred Meyer. There is a Glen Highway. That's Eagle River down there. And this Cook Inlet, the waterway, right at the tip of my finger, Cook Inlet. And that's Coming in on the right is Birchwood, kind of in that area. Then across Cook Inlet, uh, Nick Arm, it's spelled K-N-I-K, Nick, is Wasilla, about right tip of my finger on the other side of the water. Now, if it were clear, actually, I see it, but I doubt y'all can. It's Mount Susitna which is also known as Sleeping Lady because it looks like a lady laying down on her side. It's just no way to see it. Now, I see Mount McKinley, too. Let me zoom in as the base of it. Oh, come on, focus in. Uh, it's not showing up. Good Lord, I wish it was clear. The base of Mount McKinley is about 100 miles, the tip of my finger, right at that, that clear, clear line. Man, I sounded like a camel with tuberculosis coming up that trail. Shoot, I may just kick it here. But I am geared up. A gallon of water. I've also got a couple of power aids. Uh, Cook this up later. Alfredo noodles. Uh, got a couple of coffees and my solar power charger. Crackers. Yeah, I went and uh, I barely had enough for this, and I went ahead and got it. It's a waterproof. Uh, power charger. I've been charging it most of the day. Once that sun come out, I just strap my solar panels to the top right there with a bungee cord. <sighs> I got it about half charged. That's good for about four hours, I guess. Yeah, I'll take a look over here. Yeah, this there's a a trail that leads up here. The trail head is down off that ridge right there. You can drive up maybe a half mile from here. Then it's a hiking trail all the way up to this. Well, I take that back. Uh, there is a gate where you can't go through the gate. I guess they can drive up in a 4x4 four four or four-wheeler. I'm trying to hold the camera steady. Uh, I guess they land a helicopter. There's direction wind cones. We sure couldn't land one right here. All them guy wires. 
Yeah, it's probably, I don't know, 8, 10 degrees cooler up here. 2,700 foot higher. Good thing I can look forward to is a trip down hill. I forgot what radio station this is. I'll have to look on my maps. Heck, I could set my tent up right there. Yeah, I might have to look at Google Maps and see uh, exactly how much more of that trail twists. Mount Baldy. Yeah, I wish. Yeah, okay, see that tree? That first one right here? Okay, see the line in the sky where it's clear? Not the water, not Cook Inlet, but the line. Right to the edge of that tree is the base of Mount McKinley. It just reaches up way above that cloud and you can't. I can, let's see, I can move a little bit to the, I can see like a silhouette of uh light reflecting and that is geographically the location of mount mckinley so i'm almost betting that's it i mean my eyesight's already limited let's see see it it looks like it's just but that snow it's uh matching in with the background light of the clear spot but mckinley goes good lord on a real clear day you can see it all the way from anchorage too surprisingly i've got a little bit of data i'm gonna try to upload this yeah that's probably another oops Probably another four or five hour hike right up Mount Baldy. You might look on Google Maps and uh, write in the comments where you think I am and then I'm going to look when I get off here. Yeah, it's already dang after 10 o'clock. Oh man, the air is so uh, so darn fresh, crisp. Uh. Yeah, I must have rested a good two minutes before I even turned the camera on. This is why I come to Alaska. I can get far away from people as I can and every year it just gets worse it seems people people just absolutely hate each other now and I just get to a breaking point where I can't handle all the meanness and the selfishness and the hate so I kind of take a retreat and get away from it You're tired of hearing people bicker and argue. Tired of people thinking I'm this way or I'm that way. And yeah, I'll look on maps and see what lake that is in the center. But yeah, Eagle River. Ah, let me go a little closer. I might can get the top of Eagle River. But that's Fred Meyer. I think. I might have to look. Uh, whatever it is, it's far away, far below. Oh, that is a road. I thought it was the top of a twig first 
The only way I can really see what it is is to zoom in. That looks like a top of a building. And it's geographically kind of in that Fred Meyer area. I can see that the outline of the bridge overpass right there. And so I know that's got to be the Glen Highway. God, I wish I could see. I bet it's spectacular up here. I should have got a, a video at the bottom pointing to where I'm going here. It was all paved road to the trailhead. But dang, nobody wants to pick you up now. That's going to be a problem. Trying to get down to Soldat. Now there is a, I called a bus line today. It's called uh, Alaska Yukon. Uh, I got it in my search history. And the guy said, well, we ain't got nobody going, so we're going to have to charge you a little extra. I, I didn't ask how much it was. But I don't know. I might uh, get on the south end of Anchorage, hold my thumb out. I'm sure, I mean, they're always somebody to pick you up. <sighs> yeah, right at the tree line, though. There's a few spruce dotting. Yeah, I see black splotches. Uh, that's the only thing that could be. Uh, I wish they had a, a tram. There is a trailhead north of here. Uh, it does have a, it has a self-propelled tram. You just pull on the cable and your basket goes the other and you're like, 280 foot above the gorge I had a video of that me railroad run and dawn went about three years ago and then if you look in my video there's a video titled uh, Wrangell St. Elias National Park cabin you can rent cabins here but you got to kind of do it a few months in advance and they're free they're state-owned cabins way out we were 180 miles from the nearest anything establishment human it's about a three and a half mile hike from the trail but you just uh, there's a website you go to and reserve the cabin and of course you there's no fee or anything you just restock it with firewood it's got a wood stove it's got some bunks and um you can write down whether you want to stay three days a week or whatever but it's free you just got to take all the bare boards off when you get there there's special little turn clips on each corner of the windows and over the door to keep the bears out when no one's there but i guess i'll go i'm gonna continue on up so the next video will be tomorrow because it's about as dark as it's going to get right now. But I'm afraid that if I try to record any further, any any less light, it's not going to come out as good as it could. But yeah, Anchorage is just beyond there. And Lake Eklutna, that's where Anchorage gets its water. Probably dizzy is over that range there's if you look on google maps you'll see lake eklutna e-k-l-u-t-n-a i think i wish i could have gone there well i still might but i gotta get get down and see connor all right i guess i'm gonna sign it boy i just looked at the time seems like i've been hitting them right at 14 minutes all right, I'll try to start making them longer and uh, a lot clearer, more sun. The sun's just right about right in there somewhere. All right, let me zoom in one more time, see if I can. I see that faint outline. Ah, it's just too hazy. <laughs> 